Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of The County Seat. Are you hungry? Well, that's the topic of our show, locally grown food. In case you hadn't noticed, in the last few years, farmers markets have virtually exploded, not only along the Wasatch Front, but across the state. What is this phenomenon and who is behind it? Well, we asked Reese Stein to explore that question and bring you the answer. Door bazaars like this one in Heber are well known throughout the world and in the last few years have grown in popularity in Utah. With more and more residents taking the opportunity to buy directly from local farmers, consumers are showing a greater interest in buying food from people they know and trust as opposed to the big box stores. And those opportunities are expanding. From Richmond in the north to Ivins in the south, there are 45 different farmers markets across the state. Utah spent $16 million in direct sales on Utah agriculture and ranching products in 2012. That's money that stays in the local economy. The current trend to buy and sell local goes beyond just the farmer's market and local producers. The state of Utah has actually created a campaign through the Department of Agriculture and Food called Utah's Own to help food producers to grow their businesses alongside their crops. I can't even begin to express how important it is for Utahns to buy local and that's what Utah Zone is all about. Yes, we are trying to help these companies grow, but unless the consumers demand the products, look for the products, buy the products, they're not going to be going to be any more successful than anyone else. Utah's own summits like this one allow producers and manufacturers to come together and network with each other by taking advantage of small business development centers, USU extension offices, and Utah's own. All of these tools help with aspects of business where farmers may be unfamiliar, from packaging and labeling to finding a lead on a commercial kitchen. It doesn't matter if it's an idea. They've been in business for two weeks or 20 years. We feel we can help them. They also have so many resources that have helped us you know, as we've, as we've worked with them. And, and we come to a, maybe a standstill and say, well, we aren't really sure how to go about this or, or what the next step should be. Um, they always have, if they don't have the answer, they know somebody that does. Economics are a driving force behind the current Utah's own trend, but it's the stories of the farmers and producers that add the extra spice missing from out-of-state brands and one-size-fits-all superstores. I'm proud that we can de develop roots here with our families, and we want, we're proud that we can be in agriculture and grow foods that's healthy. And so I hope we're planning for the next generation as we market this food and we make people really proud of Utah products and what it stands for. And this makes it possible for us to do what we love to do. And we love, we love being farmers. So I would encourage consumers, when you are in the grocery store, ask that grocery manager, where can I find the local products? Where are the Utah zone? For the county seat, I'm Reese Stone. Well, now we have some understanding of what's going on with locally grown produce and food that's manufactured here in the state. When we come back, we will talk to some of the players on the ground level and at the state level and find out how this program works, how it affects your life, and how it may create opportunities for you and your own homegrown business. We'll be back with the county seat in just a minute. What would you do with an extra day in Utah County? Explore the Wasatch Mountains? Snap a family photo at Bridal Veil Fall. Cool off on Utah Lake or the Provo River. No matter what you're searching for, you can find it in Utah Valley. Bring everyone together. You go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? September 12th through the 14th, you can find that missing piece at the We Rock Grand Nationals at the Three Peak Recreation Area just 10 minutes from downtown Cedar City. Catch all the rock crawling action and meet the pro racers in person. Two-day passes are just $25 and kids under 8 get in free. 
We Rock National Championships September 12th through the 14th and visit cedarcityayl.com for all the adventure you can experience in scenic southern Utah. Kanab, base camp for your southern Utah adventures. Long in Kanab. The Bear Lake Valley is a beautiful, rural, historical, and recreational paradise. Bear Lake is a large scenic lake, often called the Caribbean of the Rockies, for its intense turquoise blue water. Or come for one of these exciting events. Bear Lake in Rich County. Come for the ride, stay for the adventure. Welcome back to the County Seat. We are talking about Utah's own locally grown food and products. Joining us for a panel discussion, Kevin Jones, who is the chief sauce maker, Snap Daddy's Barbecue Sauce, and uh, the accent alone as he talks to us, you'll, you'll, feel, you'll just hear the flavor of his sauce. <laughs> We have Thane Taggy from Taggy's Fruit. He's the Chief Farm Officer, the CFO, and Luann Adams, Commissioner for the Department of Agriculture and Food here in the state of Utah, former Box Elder County Commissioner Luann Thane. Thank you, Kevin, for joining us today. Thanks, I would like to start with your stories because we now have got a little background on, on Utah's own and, and, and how it interrelates with people. How did you get started, Kevin, very briefly? Very briefly, we started in our kitchen, uh, making up the sauce. Uh, my daughter asked me to write down a recipe one day. She was homesick for some good food from Texas and wrote it down and asked her why. She says, well, Daddy, I don't want to say it's too loud. You're getting kind of old. I just want your grandkids to know what a good cook you were. The wisdom of a 13-year-old, you know. <laughs> so I uh, wrote it down, started making the sauce, uh, took it to work, was selling it for my best. Uh, I didn't understand why people would buy spend good money on barbecue sauce, but they did. We took it up to a, a farmer's market in Bountiful and ended up selling out three times in a row. And it was then that I realized that we may be onto something. So I uh, started making it in the house and just grew from there. Thing, mostly when I hear about guys in, in agriculture, particularly guys that are producing fruit, they're like second or third generation. Yeah, uh, and your story is not like that. I'm not. I was a CPA, believe it or not, sat in, sitting at my desk going, what am I doing with my life? During the summer, I bought my first Bear Lake raspberry and sold it down in Holiday, Utah. And to kind of make a long story short, that grew uh, over time for about five years. And I was able to buy, uh, bring down some Brigham City peaches one day, ended up buying that uh, Paul Sumita's Orchard had to quit my job because I was obviously getting too busy and never looked back. Since then we've added 70 acres and we also do row crops up in Garland and Corinne and have a patch down in Holiday and it's worked out great and it just keeps growing. That's the problem with farming. There's always something else to do. So Well, it is a growth industry <laughs> in is. more ways than one. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> yeah. So, Luann, as the commissioner uh, for the Department of Agriculture and Food, Utah's own is fairly a fairly important project as far as the department's concerned. Um, how did this this whole Utah's own thing all get started? Well, I think um, a few years ago, the department saw a need for sustainability for agriculture, farmers and ranchers, and that's how it all began. You know, Utah's own is kind of an economic engine for farmers and ranchers and and they have products we we hook them up with the right sources to to help them along if you're starting out maybe you don't know how to do labeling or you don't know how to package we can hook you up with the right people that can help you if you're a little further along you need to need to get into a restaurant or a grocery store or something like that we can help you with that if you're even further and you want to get across the seas, our department also can, can get you out of the country. So we, we just want to help our farmers and ranchers. We want to help them to become, be sustainable, to, uh, to expand and grow jobs, and to help the rural economies. 
Kevin, when did you first run across the Utah-owned program and, and the assistance you could get from the Department of Agriculture? You know, you sign up and to start your business, you got to get your registration done. And sadly, at the time when you registered, nobody would tell you anything about the other benefits and features that the Department of Ag had. So we first ran into Utah Zone at a food show. And one of the individuals that worked at Utah Zone would go and get food. That's the good benefit of a food show. You get free food everywhere. But before he would eat it, he'd come back and he'd put our sauce on top. And he said, hey, listen, what are you going to do when this thing takes off? And I, I said, I don't know. I'll build a kitchen or I'll, I'll lease some place. And a week later, he called me up. He says, hey, Kevin, he says, I think this company is going to be big. And I think you need this kitchen and it's available. And let me introduce you. And so literally, we wouldn't be in the place we're in now if it wasn't for Utah Zone. How did you run across this Utah Zone? Well, I, that's a good question. The very first bottle of blackberry jam I made had to have the Utah Zone sticker on it. I, I expected you to grab it right there. Well, and show look, it's the old school, too. <laughs> this is old school Utah Zone right here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's old school. So um, because why? I knew that it helped me sell it. I knew that the, you know, that the uh, product coming from Utah and, and being made here in Utah would definitely help the sales of my product. And I'm a Utah man all the way, and that's, that's how I want to market it. I'm not interested out of state to be nece necessarily. I, want it, I need help from the sales here because I can work that market and make it work. So that's how I got started. And uh, putting those, you know, that, that Utah Zone sticker was very important to me, getting that on the jar and making sure that the public knew that, hey, support us. We're a Utah product. Uh, when you look at the economy of the state, how big a role does agriculture uh, play in, 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 the, in the state's economy? Okay, just in, in um, this, this market now is becoming eat local. It's a big deal. And there are um, 1,800 farms that are selling directly to consumers. And they're generating $16 million from, from that. And this is, this is your... Um, farmers markets, your fruit stands, selling directly to consumers. So it's, this part of it's a big deal. That's just the farmers. And you've got so many more food manufacturers yeah. here in the state too. I think when Utah Zone was set up originally, it was for farmers and ranchers, but they've done a great job now of embracing the manufacturers who make food products like us and helping us get it into markets and the grocery stores and the restaurants, et cetera, as Luan said earlier. I mean, it's a huge, I don't think people understand that when you buy local, 65 cents of that dollar stays in the economy. Yeah, that's great. You know, when I, you buy a snap day, 65 cents of that dollar stays in the economy. You buy Sweet Baby Ray's or somebody else, 17 cents of that product stays in our economy. Everything else goes out of state. And how do you grow an economy like that? I love what Luann said about farmers markets and we're getting it directly to the public. Let me tell you, that is key for us as Utah growers, Utah ranchers. If I can get that retail dollar, I'm making twice as much money. Think about it. If I have to sell wholesale to somebody, they usually want to quote double the price. If I can sell retail, and this is what I'm really grateful for, is we've seen increase in the farmers markets 25% this year. They're coming out, they're thinking more. Hey, who am I gonna hand that dollar to? Hand it to one of us. How important to that is, is that thing, do you think, to the survivability of agricultural lands in Utah? I'm gonna do it if I can make money. You know, if, if I had to sell just wholesale, I wouldn't, I couldn't make this. I have to have the retail dollar, and I think all of us agree on that. That's a stronger, more, it's the dollar I want. That's our whole business plan, is we go to the farmer's markets, come, we have our fruit stands, we have our big stand in, up in Perry, Utah, up in Brigham City area, and those are what we work, because that's where our money, that's where most our money's gonna come from. Well, I have long thought that it's an interesting uh, fact that, you know, several years ago, you would think of a Salt Lake resident that there might be a farmer's market, maybe down at Pioneer Square, you went up to Brigham City, and that was it. But it seems that now that direct sales are across the state, we're going to explore that when we come back on the county seat. Stay with us. We'll be right back in just a second. If you're looking for the center of the universe, well, good luck. 
Now, if you're looking for the center of the off-road universe, look no further than Paiute County. Hundreds of miles of trails turn your day of riding into a week, maybe even a month. Heck, a lifetime wouldn't be enough. Take off right from downtown Marysville or Circleville and experience fall colors that rival the most famous destinations in the world. There will never be a better time to ride the Paiute Trail than right now. Explore Paiute County and discover the magic and beauty of the land where the rainbow ends. There's no need to travel far to find that perfect family adventure. Welcome to Utah's Nebo Loop Scenic Byway. 38 miles of winding highway through the southern end of the Wasatch Mountains. Join us in Duad County. It'll change your family forever. There's no need to travel far to find that perfect family adventure. Welcome to Yuba Reservoir. Boating, fishing, camping, and ATV trails await your next visit. Join us in Duad County. It'll change your family forever. Why is it that environmental protection and economic development are often placed at odds with each other? Well, in Duchesne County, they have both. Here, modern industry and resource development go hand in hand with some of the most pristine wilderness in the western United States. A strong economy balanced with a lifestyle of exploration and discovery. But don't take my word for it. Go visit them. Duchesne County, close enough for business. Far enough, get away. There aren't a lot of places in this world where you can feel truly free and wild, where the horizon invites you to set off on adventure. In Tooele County, you'll find just that. Explore the Benson Grist Mill and step back in time. Find yourself on a trek through our canyons. <laughs> Tooele County, experience endless horizons. Welcome back to the county seat. We are talking today about Utah's own, uh, the homegrown products that taste so good that are on our table. And uh, I, I left with saying that my impression years ago was that, well, actually, if I go back 20 years, if I wanted to go to a farmer's market, I instinctively said, well, the only place I'm going to get that is up on the old Willard Highway on Highway 89. And I probably ran into you a few times up there along that route. But now it seems like they're everywhere. You know, what's what's happened with farmer's markets? You've, you've got basically farmer's markets every night of the week. And, and Saturdays and Sundays. And, and on Saturdays and Sundays, there's multiple farmer's markets. There used to be 20 fruit stands up on old Highway 89. Now you can just count them on two hands. And that's changed, developed, gone. And the thing about it is, is people really don't want to drive that far anymore. Mm -hmm. So we're willing to come to them and make that work. And we can get our products sold faster that way too. There's 45 farmers markets in Utah right now, over 1,800 nationwide. And are it's they growing all across rapidly. The state? They are across the state, yeah. We even have a farmers market in Tremont where fruit stands in that are in Tremont. So they're popping up everywhere across the state. It seems to me that most of Utah's label brands, not by intention, but they're, they are more natural ingredients. Is that part, partly due to the fact that your distance from origination point to final consumer is shorter? I don't know if it's that as much as the consumer's looking for a healthier product now. I mean, if you look at Snap Days, we have no MSG, no gluten, no high fructose corn syrup. And that narrows us down to about one of six nationwide barbecue sauces that contain, do not contain those products. And so that, it's a healthier alternative. I mean, we say we taste good and then we don't say it too loud, but it's almost good for you, you know? And the consumer is, is getting more and more in that way. We're fortunate enough, we, we don't do too many farmer's markets anymore because our shelf life is so long. And people say, well, how can you get such a long shelf life with no additives and preservatives. It's just natural balance of pH of the products that we use that make that shelf life that much better. This is a key question you've asked. So think about it. If somebody's gonna ship a peach from California, how hard is that peach gonna be? Pretty dang hard. Because I've counted the bumps between California and here. There's a lot of bumps. So we, local people, we're gonna pick it riper we're gonna pick it softer, that's gonna give you more sugar content, that's gonna give you better flavor, that's gonna give you better bottling. It's a huge deal, but I only have a couple days to sell that. So we're gonna pick it nice and ripe for you, but we need to move it quick. And so that's the beauty of buying Utah. I always said, if you put a dot in the map, if you go a hundred mile radius, that's where your best produce is gonna get distributed. So if you're thinking of Utah, you know, you, you got Utah County up to Box Elder, you put a dot right in Salt Lake, 
That's where your best produce, you're going to find it. That's where my best produce ends up. I can't ship something far away that's that good. So how important does that make the, for the protection of agricultural lands in, the, in a, where you've got 80% of your population sitting in that 100 miles? How important does that become? That's it. We're dependent on everybody here in this valley. And they've been good to us. We've seen things increase. And I think people are more conscientious, but can, they can do more. I have one lady that comes to my stand every week and she says, I shop your stand first, I find out what you have, I buy it, and then I supplement somewhere else. That's, if everybody had that mentality, this state would grow, we'd sustain, I'd keep my farm, and we'd grow, we'd be around for a long time, and we'll, those 100, 100 kids that work for us will be very happy, because uh, we're giving that all to, you know, people that are living here and working here and playing here. When I come back, I'm gonna ask you to answer the question people have said to me, why should I pay, I'd buy local, but it costs me 35 or 50 or even a buck more to buy it. Why should I buy it? You guys think about that at home and we will come back to the county seat in just a minute. Here are a few things you can do to prepare. It's a good idea to have a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, and at least a three-day supply of water for each person in your household. Have an emergency plan. Empower yourself and your family. Be prepared. When you buy Utah Made and Grown, you're keeping it here at home. I'm a Utah's own dairy producer. I care about the health of my animals and I care about the quality of food we produce. Because when it comes to providing quality dairy products, I understand the importance of Utah grown and raised. And the jobs we enjoy are vital because Utah's own supports our community. As a consumer, I look for Utah's own products because Utah's own is good for me and it's good for Utah. Keep it here at home, Utah's own. Along Interstate 70 and Highway 89 is an area that is rich with high mountain peaks, vast forests, lakes, streams, historical sites, and a climate that is perfect for outdoor adventures no matter what the season. Join us in Richfield September 15th through the 19th for the Rocky Mountain ATV Jamboree. Sign up at ATVJam.com. In the center of it all, Sevier County. Kanab, base camp for your Southern Utah adventures. You belong in Kanab. Welcome back to the county seat. We are talking about good things, happy things, and things that are yummy for the tummy today. Utah's own labeled brands and uh, the efforts that the uh, Department of Agriculture and Food has gone to with their Utah's own concept. Um, Luann, we're trying to expand this uh, program right now, and, and, and if people are curious about how they take their their work of the earth and their homemade products, edible products, and, and get them out to market. What is the department doing? Well, you know, I when I came in, as you know, I'm a new commissioner this year, and I found out that we did a pretty good job of marketing or in the Salt Lake and Provo, uh, even Davis area, but when you got out to where the farmers and ranchers were, we hadn't done a good job of marketing. So we've got 14 summits that we've set up, and we're taking our show on the road with our, our summits and educating the farmers and the entrepreneurs and the ranchers out there of, of how we can help them. So if, if somebody's actually looking at um, being involved Involved in that uh, summit, is there a schedule? Is there a place for them to find? There it? is a schedule. In fact, our, we've we've already done seven of them, mm -hmm. and our our eighth uh, summit will be held in St. George on the 18th of September. Does the department's website have that information on it? Utah's own. Uh, 
website has it on. Okay, very good. Well, you can see that website on the screen, and uh, that's a good place to go for there. Uh, I just would like to get some closing thoughts about uh, about how this program has worked and how life is for you two guys, because I'm sure there are a lot of people at home that are sitting there thinking, gosh, I would like to walk away from the desk and maybe get my hands in the dirt and maybe make something happen or, or get in the kitchen and mess around. So any final thoughts, gentlemen? My final thought is we're very thankful, we're very blessed. I could have never opened this business in Texas. But with the help of Utah Zone and the help of Utah Citizens Lacking Good Barbecue, we've done very well. And we're very thankful and we're very appreciative to our customers for that. Um, and what we've done is we believed in paying it forward. So when there are companies out there that are, that are looking and they contact Utah Zone or they contact us, we're there to help them. You know, we didn't have all the answers when we started. We still don't have all the answers now. And so we yeah, just... I have one for you. Don't put dry ice in barbecue. <laughs> yeah, that's a different story we don't even want to go to, and we're still cleaning it up. <laughs> Payne, thoughts from you? Hey, Utah is the greatest place in the whole nation to live. We've got everything we want, and we do have an opportunity to grow great fruits and vegetables. We've got organic wheat up north. We've got cattle. We've got ranches. We've got all this great product and we're there's enough here to sustain us here in Utah and all these other markets try to creep in all the time because if you look at the map here's California here's Utah and I'm just grateful for the support that we're feeling as just a local farmer it's a huge deal to us uh, we're very appreciative we're trying to grow the best fruits and vegetables we can so that there's good value somebody comes into a marketplace and say why should I spend a dollar more for a local product what's your answer you know, we're not the most expensive, but we're not the cheapest. But I can guarantee you we have the best ingredients and the best quality. Because it's fresher, it's nicer, it's more full of sugar, it's sugar packed, and you're gonna get a better value. Some people think, oh, it's Utah, it should be cheaper. Don't, can't think that way sometimes. We need, to, we need to keep going. We need to make this be, this needs to be sustainable. Let, Don't, me add, let me add one last thing. Yes. When you buy like that, you buy our product, you buy Taggy's product, you buy another local product, Odds are you will use less because it has more flavor. That's probably the best way to sum it up. Even though it may sound like it's more expensive, you use less, it's less flavor. So Luann, if somebody's making the decision that they want to buy Utah Zone and they go to the grocery store, what, they sh what should they be looking for? You know, they should ask their local grocery. If they don't see shelf talkers like this, um, they should ask their, their local grocery store where their local grown stuff are and ask for Utah Zone. All right, well, we're going to end with this by just saying that the uh, Department of Agriculture and for Food through Utah's own has made these gift baskets. They're valued about $30, and we are going to start giving them away on the county seat. So you may want to check out our Facebook and our social media. We'll tell you exactly how to do it and watch for it in the coming weeks. And, uh, yeah, there's some pretty good stuff in here. <laughs> Recognize that? Cool. Yeah, they... uh, And uh, so that's it for the county seat. Thank you for joining us today. Check out our website, check out our Facebook page and our social media, and we'll look for you next week on the county seat. If you like this video, then we invite you to subscribe to our channel, The County Seat. You can do that here. And we invite you to share with your friends. We also invite you to get all the latest up-to-date information by following us on our social media channels. And if all else fails, make sure that you watch The County Seat Sunday morning at 8.30 right here on ABC4 Utah.